Okay, what happened? Recording stop, let's continue. Okay, it's gone. See you later, alligator. Finally, okay, we can continue putting our USB power on, delete and F2, one of those two key combinations. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so what do we do here? Let's go main, oh shit, main menu I'd like to enable that so anything we do here we're going to undo after the job is finished okay we need to set a password a a and then we can go in go to boot menu secure boot disabled exit save changes and exit so now it should boot straight into my USB I don't need to do anything but if the SSD are putting on an operating system I'll need to press F12 to bring the boot menu option. Now, <clears throat> what's happened here? Let's see if it's going to boot from that USB. It most likely will. And I don't like using Acrobat, not Acrobat, uh, Macronus. I'll use something else. You can use whatever you like. Okay. <clears throat> F12 again. Yep, sweet. All right, I'm in business. So yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, if you want to know how I'm going to connect that hard drive, I'll show you that too. So this is M.2 2280. We'll use an adapter like this. That needs to be on NGFF, which is that one, I believe, or MSAR. Yeah, NGFF. Okay.
Now cloning will take a while, so set up an environment that you don't need to use and then just clone it across. So that will be the end of this video. See you in the next one.